On today's episode of What's Going On With Shipping, did Russian oil just get delivered to the United States? I'm your host, Sam Ricaglano. Welcome to today's episode. So I saw a story come across on Twitter, which, okay, suspicious already, but it said that a Russian tanker delivered fuel to the Navy base in Norfolk. Well, that, that's wrong on multiple levels. But when I looked into it, it, it does raise a couple of questions because while the, the, the specifics of the story are not accurate, what's behind the story does raise some questions. So this is the tanker in question. This is the motor vessel Ivanka, uh, a Liberian flagged oil tanker. It is moored in Norfolk, Virginia, but not at the Navy base. The Navy base is well north of here. Plus, you don't moor at the Navy base to deliver fuel. You go across from the Navy base over to what's called Craney's Island, and you load at the big storage facility there. This is the IMTT terminal. This is way down the Elizabeth River, uh, down in Norfolk. So this is nowhere near the Navy base. And what IMTT is, is a holding facility. Uh, they run storage and, and uh, handling facilities for bulk liquid products. They're out of New Orleans. They've got storage sites all around. Now, the question about Russian oil should not be an issue at all because the United States has banned the import of Russian oil, liquefied natural gas, and coal. This goes back to March 8th of 2022, executive order from the president of the United States. And not only have we banned it, but we have been sanctioning Russian oil tankers. So there should be almost no prospect for Russian oil to get into the United States. However, when you look at the Ivanka, it raises a question. So when I use my buddies at Marine Traffic's uh, app here, I find that the Ivanka 30 days ago was out here in the middle of the Black Sea. And then the ship sailed northward up into the port of Novorisk. Now, Novorisk is a big fuel terminal. This is where a lot of tankers go in. It's the terminus of a series of pipelines, and they load Russian oil. The ship then departed from the area, headed due south to avoid Ukrainian stuff and get down here toward Turkish waters, headed toward the Turkish Strait, sat there off the Turkish Strait for a few days, and then proceeded through the Aegean, through the Mediterranean, the Straits of Gibraltar, and headed, yeah, that's right, straight over to Norfolk, Virginia. So either the vessel loaded oil and is offloading it right now in Norfolk, or it sailed to a port in Russia that offloads oil, uh, excuse me, that loads oil and offloaded its oil and sailed in ballast empty to Norfolk? That makes no sense. So it appears pretty accurately here that a Liberian flagship loaded Russian oil and has sailed and arrived in a port in Norfolk, which would be in violation of the executive order and the boycott and sanction against Russian oil. Now, when you start digging into this ship, oh, this is where you start running into problems. This is, this is the joy of international shipping. This is marine traffic. Uh, this ship is a 15-year-old, 2008 uh, flag, uh, uh, old vessel flagged in Liberia, 51,000 deadweight tons. When you come up here under ownership, it shows the owner is G House Investments in Macau. The uh, manager is Champion Tankers out of Norway with the technical manager being Donnelly Tanker Management out of Cyprus. The ship was built in South Korea. Well, when you go over to G House, G House, which shows the site as of 2023, lists the Ivanka there. Now, Macau, Portuguese, this is a Chinese, uh, is an enclave over in China or was an enclave over in China. Uh, this is pretty much a uh, open registry. You can see here, Portuguese, Chinese, so, okay, that seems to check out. However, when you go over to Equus, which is a ship database, you come over here and you find out the register owner is Oryx Shipping Company, and the manager, the ship manager, is uh, Chemichelen uh, Sea Transportation out of Hamburg, Germany. So it seems as if there's another owner and manager, because now this Oryx Shipping uh, is doing this via Germany. When you start tracking these guys down, I went to the Classification Society. This ship is classified by the American Bureau of Shipping. I went into their database. They identify Oryx Shipping as the owner. Oryx Shipping right here comes up, and trying to figure out who these guys are is a whole other mess. They identify themselves as United Arab Emirates. There, there's allegations to Dubai and the UAE Emirates. Emirates. 
But then they list 227 Marion Street, South Carolina, 29201. That's Columbia, South Carolina, by the way, which is a, a it, it's a empty corner in Columbia, South Carolina. So who owns this vessel? I, I don't know. I, 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 this is the, the, the joy of ocean shipping. But what we do know is that a ship owned maybe by Portuguese, maybe Chinese, maybe, I, I don't know, Oryx, UAE. I don't know who owns the ship. Liberian flag certified by the American Bureau of Shipping has arrived in Norfolk to offload oil that appears to have come from Russia, which makes me wonder, where is the Coast Guard? Where is Customs and Border Protection? Where is State Department? Where are the people who are supposed to be enforcing this to make sure that Russian oil is not being offloaded in the United States? Because a ship that comes from Russia to the United States should throw up a flag of some kind. And especially when it has to sail past the entire Atlantic fleet on the way down to offload. I just think that would trigger some sort of warning of some kind, but maybe it's just me. Maybe I am being overly cautious. Anyway, thought you enjoy this story today. I'll be interested to see what the fallout is from this. If you're new to the channel, hey, take a moment, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you'll be alerted about new videos as they come out. Leave a comment, share it across social media, and if you can, support the page. How do you do that? Well, you hit the super thanks button down below or head on over to Patreon. You'll see the link at the end of the video or down in the show notes and become a monthly yearly subscriber. Until our next load of Russian oil arrives in the United States, this is Sal signing off.